When I was eight years old, I bought my first skateboard. I carried it around with me everywhere. I was attached to it. For some reason, I couldn't keep my feet off of it. But then I was introduced on how to work a camera. And the more we'd go skate with friends, the more I would remember to bring my own camera. And instead of getting better at skating, I focused more on my camera work. It was the first thing that I've known to love more than skateboarding or my own shoe collection. I remember my friends always telling me to set it down and keep on skating, but I had more fun shooting footage of them than I did skating, so I would say no and continue to shoot. I never stopped skateboarding, but it was something that I stopped focusing on for me to be really good at, and it moved more to like a stress reliever. In a way, it was for me to relax, and I would go push around the city. I have skiing to focus on for the adrenaline rushes, I guess. But I would continue to shoot for these kids, and the more footage we got, the more short films we would put together. And this went on for years, until I realized it was something I really enjoyed and wanted to pursue a career in. Our first videos were really rough. There was shaky camera work, bad audio, and even worse cuts, but they got better and cleaner and turned into a piece of work. The idea of taking something that people consider juvenile and turning it into a piece of art as I worked with these kids was what I loved. Trying to show a better side of what people think is dangerous or degenerate. And I have purchasing my first skateboard to thank for that. One small purchase changed my life completely and created memories I'll never lose.